Hi, I'm going to show you how I make my 19 millimeter O-ring joints, nail joints on the auto lathe. I'll run a couple for you first and then uh, come back and explain a few things. a joint on one side of these making the second joint. Okay, the lathe I'm using is a 1984 Litton Auto Lathe. Uh, Litton made a lot of these back then. Uh, it's got a chip in it. Uh, don't make as many now, a couple of year I suppose. Uh, this is, my programming is all done on a Apple IIc. I think my lens just dropped down there. Uh, 1984 Apple IIc, so none of this is new technology, but uh, works very well. Repeatability is excellent. Uh, trying to adjust my lens here. I guess that's okay. Um, after I program it, I send the program to this 9665 controller. Uh, again, very old technology, but it works really well. <clears throat> on my first swing arm up here I have a just a little block a chunk of round carbon that I use to set my length my second roller here is uh, two pieces of carbon I have bolted together 
with a stainless steel O-ring, uh, sorry, uh, stainless steel washer in the center, that's what I make my groove with for the O-ring. On the tail stock on the XY, I have the tail stock or the XY mounted to my tail stock. So it can go up and down inside the tube and make the proper ID. That rod is stainless steel, driven by a little 12 volt motor, uh, so it's turning all the time inside. Uh, that big block of aluminum there is just uh, to hold a couple of uh, bearings for that rod, for that shaft. Now I'm going to give you a close up here figure out where I am. Okay. So after the thing's been programmed and set up properly, repeatability is excellent. We'll just sit there and just keep making parts for you all day. <clears throat> what I'm doing here is just polishing the end. I like a nice heavy polish on the end. So the time that that burner's on is uh, in the computer. I can change that time to anything I want. And the traverses that the different motors make. How the tail stock's coming in. It just sits out there a little bit away from the end of the tube, waiting for the tube to get hot. What I do is I heat it back here a little bit just because that ID's going to come up and I don't want to leave fire checks around there. So that ID comes up, starts making the inside, roller carbon comes down, flattens it out a little bit, and cuts my groove. I don't really get the glass any softer than I absolutely have to. It just makes more of a mess. If I just shape it, it works better. Down, carbon comes up, label shut off. That goes to home, everything homes again, so it all starts out right place. Push start button, sets my length, and away we go. is very good for small parts, uh, high production. Nice polish on the end, go down and heat up the left side a little bit. comes in, roller carbon comes down, cuts the groove, makes my taper just right. The idea of this joint is that you get a nice tight seal. Uh, you don't have to push things together to where they lock up and can't come apart. It's a joint with a groove in it. Just put your O-ring on it. Put it in a 19 millimeter female. See how it sits up just a little bit above. Give it a little twist. Lock it in. Stays in very nice. Gives you a good tight seal but just comes right apart, no scratching, anything.
Okay, thank you very much for watching.